ready. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts. <laughs> I don't know why I just did that. That was just weird. Anyways guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in once again, man. Anime is getting juicy. It's getting real juicy, friends. It's just it's getting a little too juicy for me. Yes. Alright, so Slam Dunk, man. Very good series. I'm watching right now like I just wrapped up reacting to black sales man excellent series um, was great it was great so now let's get on with some slam dunks starting with episode 62 this is gonna be something and I'm looking forward to it this is one of those animes man that you really got to pay attention nonetheless, even though, you know, it might not be that um, there's not pretty deep dialogue. A lot of the deep stuff comes from, you know, what they're showing you and what these players are going through. Um, so there's not a lot of deep dialogue, but you still do got to pay attention to what's going on to get a gist of where things are going and what, what could possibly happen. So... We got a Kagi back, right? Um, not at full strength, but he's out here pushing himself through hard. So the coach told him to calm down. So um, also finding out what Sakuragi's role is going to be now. Like he needs to understand what his role is on the team. Everybody plays a role. You you can't do everything. It's not everybody is. Le How many players in the history of the NBA has been LeBron James? You know what I'm saying? Like LeBron James can do anything except shoot free throws. You know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? He can do everything that could hurt. I mean, if LeBron could shoot free throws, I think everybody would consider him the greatest of all time. But I think that's the flaw in his game. You know what I'm saying? I still consider him to be the GOAT. But most people still think that Michael Jordan is the GOAT. And that's fine. That's okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure that most people that watch my reactions up here thinks that MJ is the GOAT. But that, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? If you grew up watching, I grew up watching Jordan, but I just feel like LeBron has that edge because he he did more. He does more, I should say, on the court. He does more. And for a guy that doesn't really concentrate on scoring points more than assist, and for him to be the third, have the third most points scored in the history of the NBA, that goal, you know, and some people is gonna be that's because he doesn't miss a game. And, uh, LeBron has missed a lot of games of his career. That's the thing about it too. Like when Jordan was playing, was Jordan was playing 82 games a year. I think he did that like nine times. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? LeBron has only played 82 games in one season once. Doesn't that say a lot? Even though LeBron, um, Jordan averaged 30 point 30. I think he like 30.1 points a game he averaged over his career. He hasn't played as long as LeBron does. He hasn't played as long. He, he didn't play. Um, I don't know how many years Jordan played for. Like, I don't I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. I'm not trying to remember anyways. But in any case, you know, anybody could make the case for LeBron being the greatest, Michael being the greatest, Larry Bird being the greatest, Magic Johnson being the greatest. Kareem being the greatest, like you could make cases for each of them, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. So everybody got to understand what their role is on the team. You can't do everything. Obviously, Sakuragi doesn't have a mid-range point. As I said before, it'll be good if he can develop a um, hook shot. You know what I mean? That would be great if he can actually develop a hook shot in the in the paint you know that would extend his game a little bit you know he doesn't have a mid-range he can't shoot a three so he has to learn how to post up moves triple threat you know what i'm saying he gotta be he gotta come around 
and i'm looking forward to it anyways guys thank you guys so much for tuning in man you guys have been great thank you guys so much um yeah let's go watch the episodes and i will see you guys for the review All right, so that was two really good episodes of Slam Dunk, man. I'm enjoying it. One of the things that I don't talk about enough in this anime is the OSTs. Now, don't get me wrong. Don't be, Not because I'm going to talk about OSTs now. Y'all going to come, oh, Slam Dunk. Got, no, it, it doesn't. <laughs> it's not It's not S-tier OSTs. It's not on that Ippo level. You know what I'm saying? Ippo is just legendary. When it comes on to, to, to OSTs, and if you want to say in the sports anime genre, oh, um, Ippo is number one. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> but the OSTs in, even though, in my opinion, they come off very corny. You know what I mean? Like, the OSTs are very corny, but they're jams. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're very corny osts but they work they work so definitely i'm enjoying those for sure they make you want to move your shoulders mm, 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 mm. <laughs> get into it um like old school 70s um i don't know if you guys used to watch 70s like tv shows and stuff like that um you used to have these really corny osts that play um during the shows so it's like <laughs> You know, it kind of reminds me of those things, like moments are happening, like <laughs> I'm just doing stupid crap. <laughs> Anyways, um, definitely two really good episodes, man. Seeing um, Sakuragi put it, put into practice, and that's that is one of the the traits that a lot of the, that differentiates the the greats. From the not so greats especially in the nba when you hear people talk about michael jordan kobe bryant lebron james these are these are three guys that they're the first to the gym last to leave you get what i'm saying kobe used to take multiple multiple shots every day work on his free throws even after games like after games dude the dude is on the court practicing his threes is is everything so those guys they just have a different animal in them for the game and it tells and and, and i'm telling you this hard work will pay off for for sakuragi so i'm looking forward to seeing what type of beast and i'm glad that they didn't play him in the game because they would have known probably what to expect from him so when when sakuragi comes in the paint catch that ball in the paint and he and he hits you with that turnaround oh footwork jay they're not gonna expect it they're not gonna expect it you know what i'm saying he's gonna he's gonna work that paint because that's his area that's his role now listen guys sendo is a problem just from the little bit that i see him doing as a point guard man he's a problem this whole time i thought he was a point guard you know what i'm saying but apparently it seems like he wasn't seems like he's he was a shooting guard and they decided to put him in that point guard role um because of his abilities to see the floor distribute and to us because i'm pretty sure he played point guard in that practice game if i remember correctly so in any case it's they're up on kynan right now and it's i don't know man i don't think kynan is going to win this game but you guys already know i'm cheering for Rionin because um i like them better I like them more than I, I, I like. I think it's just that one dude. The dude that Sakuraga keeps calling Wild Monkey. I think he's the one that turns me off from Kynan so much. Because he's such a... I don't like players who are like that. You get what I'm saying? He reminds me of... You know... Reminds me of Westbrook. Very exciting player to watch. But you don't expect them to win anything. Because they're so cocky. You get what I'm saying? Russell Westbrook is not a humble player. And I don't think he's ever going to win a championship. And I'm going to tell you guys why I believe 
Russell Westbrook will never win a championship in the NBA. And his ego is too much. And there's nothing wrong. I'm not saying he can ball because he can. High level player, one MVP, triple double, you can call it for him. But he's not really a team player. You get what I'm trying to say? Like he's, I don't know how to describe it. Cause you know, a lot of people say you don't know what's happening in the locker room. I agree, I don't know exactly what goes down in the locker room, but his attitude on the court and his play on the court, just, I just don't feel him. Like I don't feel like he is a player that would accept a role for a team to win a championship. And we've seen that in the past. He's just not that guy. He's, he's you know, I gotta be the guy. Him and Kevin Durant should have won a championship. They should have won a championship together. But it, 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 it's, it was just too much. You know what I'm saying? It was, it, it was just too much. And I feel like that was, you know, that he's the biggest reason why KD left. Didn't really want to see KD play for the Warriors because the Warriors was already strong. But at the same time, you know, I can understand why he left. Because Russ, and as I said, this wild monkey guy, he reminds me of Westbrook. Can ball, but he's just so cocky. He just feels like, oh, I could win anything. And the, <laughs> you know, the cherry on top is that he's not even really the real top talent on the team. He's the next guy. Or he's not even the next guy. He's like another option that they got in the bag that could you know possibly that could make some plays because they got um they got jen even the eyeglasses dude the dude that comes on and was you know what i'm saying short dude with the sports glasses and everything nerdy even him i would trust trust with making shots better than wild monkey dude but we'll see how things go anyways guys that is all i have to say about these two episodes they were great they were awesome i enjoyed watching them can't wait to see more of this matchup um i'm also glad as i said before that they didn't let sakuragi play or they played it in a way where you know they didn't just sit him on the bench but more of like he arrived late so they leave the art the teams like they know oh he was late that's why they didn't let him play but they don't know hey there's a secret behind it because he could have he could have got in for the last five minutes of the game and show some stuff get some points and get some rebounds whatever whatever they could have done that but they chose not to so that was cool um so yeah man appreciate you guys for tuning in as always hopefully you guys stick around for some more slam dunk whenever they come out like comment you know what to do subscribe if you're new it's your boy terabyte reacts and i'm out peace